Hey friend, start tapping on the side of the hand. We're tapping on conflict today, moving towards peace. So take a big deep breath in and let it go. I am not always so great at communication. Sometimes I feel in conflict with others, but I am typically a conflict avoider. And if I find myself on the receiving end, I can become incredibly defensive. especially because I know that my emotions directly affect my physical body. It's very important that I understand this shadow state. Until I can look at my own defensiveness, And this shadow really causes me to believe that I must defend myself from danger. I will be stuck in a weird conflicty feedback loop. And if I'm honest, Conflict is never quite as bad as I fear it's going to be. So even though I tend to avoid conflict or when provoked become incredibly defensive, I choose to deeply and completely love and accept and forgive myself. Okay, little information loaded there in the circuit. We're moving from conflict to the gift of peace and we're just gonna keep exploring it. So drink your water if it's nearby. If it's not, meet me on the top of the head. All this conflict avoidance. Sometimes I feel in conflict with others and I don't even know why. I'm just picking up signals from other people. I feel defensive. And this defense mechanism helps to maintain the illusion that I'm separate from everybody else. And my emotional state directly affects my physical body. This shadow causes me to believe that I must defend myself from danger, set boundaries, create borders, because we're all pretty aware. Humans be loving a boundary and a border. Humans are obsessed with the idea that they have to protect themselves from each other. I see that this shows up for me in a couple ways. On one hand, I'm over attentive. Classic people pleaser which makes other people uncomfortable around me. Because they know it's not trustworthy. 
when I'm just trying to please them to avoid conflict. And then this can show up as being tactless. Venting just to vent. Projecting because I don't want to take a look at myself. I will huff and puff and blow your house down. And then I'll storm away. <laughs> told you. Sometimes I am deaf to my own behavior. And I really don't like the parts of me that show up and get brought out by this conflict. And let's be clear, the conflict is inside of me. So just for today, little by little, I'm going to start to take responsibility for my emotions. I have to drop my defenses. I choose to drop my defenses. take full responsibility for my own behavior, which turns me into the perfect diplomat. I choose to adjust my behavior to create harmonious exchanges with other people. I see and I own my own projections. My relationships are balanced. I know how to listen. And I know how to respond well. I am great at give and take. I trust in my tactful honesty. I trust that my system will let me know the correct timing to say something to someone if I need to. I aspire to emotional maturity. If I sense conflict, then I temper myself. And this is more than just about the right words. I choose to evoke a sense of peace from inside of me. I trust the messages I feel and receive from the universe. I know that I can have tact today. That any conflict will resolve. And it was never, ever as bad as I feared it might be. And so it is. All right, another juicy one for your Virgo season. Um, yeah, I think on the micro level, this obviously shows up. People pleasing is a huge issue for me. It's getting better all the time. I know that a lot of the world, especially from a human design perspective, if you have an open emotional center, can really fall into the trap of people pleasing. And we don't even realize that we're doing it for a very long time, but it does create this energetic sense of untrustworthiness because the people around me know that I'm not choosing myself. And that feels uncomfortable, even if they don't understand why it feels uncomfortable, it does create a sense of discomfort and then more and more conflict. And then I, I love how on the macro level, this looks like 
you know, the boundaries between races, the boundaries between countries. I think this one probably gets the biggest hard time because it's the easiest one to make fun of as far as like from a new agey perspective. <laughs> Like we all just want peace on earth, you know? And and we do, and we, we feel like it's possible, but it starts in here. It doesn't start out there. So the news wants to tell you a horrific story of how it's getting worse and worse and worse, and these boundaries are getting worse and, and need to be stronger, not more porous. And that's probably not the truth, but. I don't have to know exactly what the truth is today to trust myself and to face my fears and to trust fear itself. Trust fear itself. It's trustworthy. All right. Cheers. See you in six days.